Hey guys, it's Alexis and Lillian here. Thanks for coming back to our channel first off, right? Yeah. Today we're going to be talking about how to come to terms with your sexuality. We're just getting a lot of comments from people who are sort of struggling to figure out who they're attracted to. Are they queer? Are they straight? Or do they go in between? Does that make sense? Do they go in between? In between what? Butt cracks? <laughs> Do I like guys? Do I like girls? Do I like girl guys? Do I like guy girls? Do I like both? Do I, what the hell do I like? I don't know. Maybe I like all of it. So we just want to maybe share with you guys how we came to terms with our sexuality, if we've gotten there, because sometimes it's a process. Am I gay? I don't know. <laughs> and maybe some tips. Do you feel like, A, was it like a process for you? And do you feel like it was a struggle for you? No, I don't think it was a struggle for me. It was kind of like a, like what I was explaining, like a, ha ha, I found this and I figured it out and I just kind of like went with it. And I just like, it's gonna sound so lame, but like I just kind of stood strong, was like, I don't really care what other people think of me. This is who I am. What is something that if you could go back now and say to younger Alexis, mm -hmm. like teenage Alexis, let's say, mm -hmm. what would you say to her? I would say, don't force yourself to be like the norm because I obviously was like with guys and I had relationships with them and I was like obviously there was something there but I kept telling myself all the time that like this is like what is supposed to be. What would you say to little Lillian? Little European baby. I would say you can make it through. Aww. Soon you will be in a much more accepting country with a lot more things going on and you will find your way. I think a lot of it is just like about your attitude and your mindset because growing up in a place where you don't have anyone around who's queer and you don't really have any like role models or anyone to look up to, it's not normalized, it's maybe not even gonna cross your mind first, you know? And then it's like always these other people and then you're like, could I be that? And it's like so strange and like so different. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like, meh, I don't really wanna be in that. And I feel like it's hard too when you're in a situation where even like your family thinks that's like, they crack jokes, like gay jokes, or they think like, oh, like, gay people are dirty or like they just don't think it's right. I think that when that situation is happening at home, to watch movies like, I don't know, Blue is the Warmest Color and like look or up our videos or our videos <laughs> or like just other like people on YouTube that are gay and out and happy and like totally fine with being out and gay. It's totally fine and they're not dirty or weird or whatever it is. First of all, you don't have to pick like a specific label. I'm a true believer that uh, sexuality is fluid. We all have the potential, at least, to be attracted to anyone because at the end of the day, we're just like humans. Yes, we all have different bodies. We all have different preferences. So that's gonna determine that. But we also all have like personalities and we all have a certain chemistry. I think the whole problem is not you potentially being not heterosexual but it's more the rigidity of like everyone has to be like something you know it's like even the fact that that bisexuals often don't get recognized that oh this actually exists but they're just confused or they can't pick or they're like afraid to actually come out as gay or whatever mm -hmm. like that's such bullshit why don't you just let everyone be happy just be like okay you know today i have a girlfriend and then maybe three months later i have a boyfriend and like who cares do i need to like necessarily Pick something? Do I need to explain myself? If you're with a guy or a girl, whatever the situation is, and you're curious and you just like want to know, you just want to like not have that what if in your head anymore, honestly, it's so worth figuring it out. There's no problem with like testing the waters and if you're a guy and you're like curious and seeing what it's like to be with another guy or vice versa then just try it everyone remember the first time they went to a gay club i was like i remember and i was like okay now everyone like thinks that i'm gay and this is like when you don't even know it can be like you know a lot yeah and a lot of times what if like no one's attractive? Yeah, and then, like, and then you're like, I'm definitely not Then you're like, fuck that. Yeah. Like, no. Yeah. 
What if you step into the wrong bar, like a fetish gay bar? Do you want to live your life? What if, what if, what if? And then you just kind of push it on the back burner like, no, 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 I'm straight, I'm straight, I'm for sure straight. And then like convincing yourself that you're like definitely straight, you can go have this experience and then you probably are bi or you probably are gay and you're like, holy shit, I am. And then it's like everything is just like makes sense. You understand why you like looked at those characters in this movie. You understand why you had a crush on this girl like in high school. You understand why like everything played out the way it did. And then you're kind of like, haha, and the light bulb goes off. If you don't have anyone in your environment, the internet's great. Message for us. starters. <laughs> The internet's great, um, so even there you can just find like other people that you can talk to, watch movies. I mean, I did all of that. I grew up in like a tiny freaking town in Italy, and I just was like, Tegan and Sarah are queer, cool. And, <laughs> and I just nice. watched all these movies, and then I went to Canada and Toronto, and there was like a huge gay scene, and that's when I was like, oh my god, now I can be like all out and have like be like super gay. I went to my first pride and all of that and I was like, this you're is like, <laughs> this is amazing. Rainbow so Castle. basically, yeah, like try to get yourself into somewhat of a queer environment and you're gonna see how you feel. Don't let anyone tell you that you're like gross or abnormal or anything like that. Like honestly, if people are gonna tell you that, they do not have the privilege to be in your life. If you've only been with guys for your whole life, let's say that. Maybe you're even in a relationship with one right now. Um, but you're thinking like, hmm, you know, I've always had this sort of attraction for women. I don't know what it is, but I've never had like a sexual experience with them. I have never even kissed a girl. That doesn't diminish your feelings. And I think you can still be like, okay, I am attracted to girls and I might be bi or a lesbian or whatever. Like not having the experience doesn't diminish those feelings. I do think you should obviously try it out. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna look up our coming out stories, link above, <laughs> they're pretty lame, but we both describe our coming out process and it was like, not your typical thing where it's like, oh, since I've known as a little girl, like I never liked guys and I've always been into girl and I was a tomboy and this and that, it was nothing like that. And I think that's also important that yeah. that's not like the typical queer narrative. If you're not like that, that doesn't mean that you like can't be gay. Yeah, you know? like there's multiple stories where, or like situations where it's like women or men are like fully married, like with children and then kind of realize like I've all, like not always, but like I just kind of have this thing for men or women or the same sex and then they just like pursue that. Uh, yeah. I don't know, I'm like, is that a bad thing? <laughs> Fuck your Break husband. Break up marriage. <laughs> Explore at any time in your life <laughs> And I would say because a big struggle for me was how the hell do I find someone who's like also into girls? Because especially if you're in a town where it's not really very accepted There aren't a lot of there isn't a big queer community Like how are you gonna find someone especially if the ones that you do see you're like not into them. Yeah, that's hard And I'm gonna say just keep believing you're gonna find someone like look who I found stop it no, seriously. Oh, that's who I'm, what I'm gonna tell little Lily. And it's like, you're gonna get a real pretty, sexy, cute woman. Hey! <laughs> Blush! <laughs> okay, we're being super cheesy again. Um, but yeah, I think these were our words of advice. Do you have any finishing touches? Anything else to say to the people out there watching? I would just say, honestly, love yourself. That's it. And you're awesome the way you are. And yeah, if you ever need anyone, Lily and I are here. Just remember, I think this is a good thing to okay. say. Mm -hmm. The LGBTQ plus community, we're all a community. Mm -hmm. So we're all We have a here. flag for Christ's sake. We're all here to support each other. Yeah. So like you are not alone in this. If you're struggling, if you're having doubts, or if you're experiencing a lot of like hatred and homophobia or anything around you like there will be someone else that is like there that's in the community like yeah there will be on a similar note we are thinking of opening up this advice segment so if you guys have any questions that you want us to answer in video send us an email or just put it in the comments somewhere if you guys have any advice or any more questions or whatever just ask in the comments and we'll try our best in getting back to you yeah or if you have like any stories you want to share with us we would love to hear those as well thank you so much for watching guys we hope that this was helpful at all to you 
and that you weren't super bored because we know you don't like our advice that much or pretty bored <laughs> sure dinner yes mm, dinner like subscribe share comment do all that great stuff because Lillian loves you <laughs> so do I oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> all, all right. right see you in the next one bye tschüss